Hey everyone, it's Billy Santoro here, and I have not done a morning coffee in forever. Um, I'm going to be real, I've just been really busy this summer. Um, I did take a lot of bookings, a lot of prides I'm going to be at, and I'm filming once a month for Icon Mail doing um, some camera work, some tech work, um, production management, casting, and also doing a couple scenes here and there. Um, so I've been just really busy. Um, that being said, uh, <clears throat> I'm back in town for maybe, actually today, I leave tomorrow for Toronto. Um, I'm really excited to be at Toronto Pride. I'm going to be at, hold on, I never know the name of this bar. Okay, it's thrown by this promoter group called Mojo Toronto and Bobo and Friends Present. Um, it's on Saturday, June 23rd at JC's Grill House on 25 Wells, Wellesley, Wellesley Street East. It's across from Subway. They put that on the flyer. Um, so I'm going to be appearing there and just basically going to have a good time. I may do a scene here and there. I It's up to me when I'm there how I feel, but most likely I'll do it because I'm a workaholic. Um, hold on. I need a sip of my coffee. Mmm. So good. So I'm going to just talk a little bit about my last week or so. Um, DC Pride was not last weekend, but the weekend before. And those of you who saw, uh, or her, uh, most of you have heard, but I was out entertaining some friends for Pride. It was late. I want to say maybe 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, Saturday night, I believe. Out having a good time. My phone was off. I do not. I'm not. I try not to stay, be on my phone when I'm out with friends. Um, I just think it's tacky if you're at a bar with people and you go on your phone. Anyway, uh, so I turned my phone on after the night. I was I was a little tipsy. It was Pride, and I was with a group of friends. And I turned my phone and I got all these messages from friends in the industry telling me that Dave um, was found dead. Dave Slick. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, if there's anyone I consider a true friend in this industry, it was Dave Slick. Um, I remember he approached me a long time ago. I didn't know who he was. Um, this is back when he was only in the cam world. Um, at Exotica in, I want to say, November last year. And said, hey, I'm Dave. Um, I want you to come do a cam show with me. <clears throat> And I just laughed at first. I was like, why would I go do a cam show for, with someone at their, all the way across the country? <clears throat> it didn't seem like financially worth it. But when he told me some numbers, I was like, okay, I'll come. And honestly, when I arrived, Dave, <clears throat> he took care of me, man. He picked me up at the airport, took me out to lunch. Um, and was just like a really chill guy. I watched him interact with his dog, which for me being a huge animal lover, and at that time, I had just um, lost Mumu. And those of you who know, Mumu was my pit bull for 11 years. Um, and he adopted this dog, Katie, um, who's four years old. And I asked, like, why did you choose Katie, you know, to adopt? It's, she's pretty much like a chihuahua mix. Um, very friendly dog. And he said to me, words that I'll never forget. He said, I feel... Like, nobody wants me half the time. So I could tell by looking at this dog, no one wanted her because of her age. Um, most, most people who go to adopt a dog usually want a puppy of some sort. And because she was four years old, eh, people feel like they missed half her life for whatever reason. Um, dogs that are older tend not to get adopted. Um, well, that resonated with me um, because... That's one of the reasons I adopted Mumu, and I felt like no one wants a pit bull because they're too hard, because of the stigma attached to, to owning a pit bull and things like that. So I was like, no one's going to adopt this dog. I have to. And we, we saw eye to eye with that. And then, like, when we did the shows together, and those of you who know me, let's be real. I am not all about performing with, with straight guys. And he told me he was bi, and I was like, whatever, you're bi. Okay means you're gay for pay. You're not really bi. You may be bi on camera, but do you date boys off camera? And getting to hang out with Dave all weekend, yeah, he did date boys off camera. 
Um, he was more in touch with with the gay side than than he than most people would would, would know. Um, our community tend to focus on the fact that he's bisexual and doing women rather than the fact that he does boys too. And <clears throat> he's a true bisexual. I never met a true bisexual. I'm going to be real. I've met guys who say they're bi, but then I say, okay, show me guys you've dated before. And there's none. Oh, well, I only do guys on camera. That's not bi. That's gay for pay. Um, at any rate, um, so Dave and I just got along. The man had a keen eye for business and taught me some things. So we would call each other every week, just sounding off on each other with ideas and, and things to boost our sales. And, you know, he motivated me. You know, I, I found someone in the industry who thinks like I do. And not many people do, let's be real. I'm kind of out there sometimes. And he's also big on paying it forward. He helped me set up my affiliate programs. Um, he gets nothing for that, just out of his generosity. And I kind of do that too with models. Like I'll, I'll, I get models gigs if I think that they're going to do a good job. Um, so it's just paying it forward. Um, so Dave and I saw eye to eye and hearing about his death crushed me. Um, it crushed me for a lot of reasons. He was, he was harassed a lot by the straight side of the industry and straight people in general um, for being bi, um, for being crossover. And, you know, when this happened, that's where my mind went right away. Um, whether it was suicide, whether it was a drug overdose, whether he was murdered, um, that all, to me, to me, that remains to be seen. Um, if it was suicide, then that side got to him. It played on his mind. Um, if it was a drug overdose, it was basically a suicide. So it's because his mind was fucked up because of the what, what the other side of the embassy drove him to. Um, you can believe it or not, but I knew the man very well. And I knew that this is something he grappled with. At any rate, um, I basically had a half a day to mourn him. And then I had to put on my hat and get my ass to Vegas to film scenes for Icon Mail. And I did it very professionally, did my job. Um, I was in a few scenes and I filmed some amazing scenes as well. Um, some gorgeous men, some great scenes. And I was very proud of the work that we did out there. <clears throat> um, and if you guys haven't signed up for iconmail.com, you should do it because there's some great stuff coming out. Um, if you like gay romance, man, we, we hit the nail on the head this time. I, I'm firmly believing that my scene with Cade Maddox is going to be the number one scene on the site. You've never seen anything like this. Pure animalistic passion. Um, at any rate, I'm going to stop talking um, because I have a few hours left before I have to get to the gym, run some errands, get packed, and go to the airport first thing in the morning. And I will see you, Toronto. I will be back in D.C. on Tuesday next week, only for a few days before I head to Madrid. So everyone, have a good one. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride.